What's up people YouTube? Today I'm doing something to save us some money. We got a scraper blade here and we need something to scrape out the barnyard that we just built for the cows. So I've been looking around, looked up prices on ready-made tire scrapers and I'm really thoroughly unimpressed with the quality of the the framework design that a lot of these places are selling. And don't get me wrong, I'm sure it's good enough, but if I could build it myself cheaper, I'm going to. So what we got here is a rubber track. It's actually off a of Kubota KX040-4. And I'm slicing it to size to bolt up to that blade to avoid having to spend money on something that I'd rather not buy. So, if anybody's ever wanting to do this, because I think it's a good way to recycle and a good way to save some money, most people, I mean, somebody probably would have bought this piece of crap to put on their machine to get out of a pinch, but anyway, to cut these things. Very easy. You get yourself a sawzall. You get yourself a metal blade. This one's a 13 tooth per inch. Then you get yourself some good old number two grease. You could probably use oil if you want. I just slather the grease where I'm gonna make my cut on both sides. You can put it on the blade, but it gets so hot that it just melts the grease right off or burns it off, yada yada. It's smoky, messy, disgusting. So anyway, I'm cutting this, gonna drill some holes through it and bolt it to the front of that. Very cheap. Very easy, I bought like $10 worth of bolts. And I put two by fours under there to keep me up off the ground so my metal edge won't dig in, but I didn't want too much deflection on my actual squeegee edge here, which shouldn't be a problem because anybody who knows these tracks, they're quite stiff, especially when they've been sitting on a stone wall baking in the sun for possibly several years. But anyway, that's where we are. Yeah, and I, I know everybody loves to see the glory shots of the guy working, but I'm a one-man team here, except for the cats, but they can't hold the phone and film for me, so I'm gonna cut this without you guys seeing. But there's no magic here. Just grease and a sawzall blade and a little bit of patience. So I'm gonna get to it. So today was the maiden voyage of the rubber scraper. I'm just about wrapped up. And the barnyard's not done yet. We're actually going to be putting a neck rail in. We just haven't gotten that far. Ideally, this would all be poo in here, and this scraper would really work brilliantly, but the the cows are slobs, and they, uh, they decided that they were going to throw all the hay that they didn't want to eat out here and try to make themselves a bed. So I'm scraping it up. It's working pretty good. If anybody else is interested in doing this, I'll show you how I've got it bolted up. And the... The material here on the ground that you're seeing is packed QP. Eventually it's gonna be concrete. So I'm tearing up a little bit of QP, but I really don't have to be cleaning it as much as I wanted to, but I want to keep the area where the cows stand a little cleaner. But I bolted the edge on, well, I bolted the excavator track on. I've got three bolts on each side, and these things are so stiff that uh, that's all I needed for now. I was kind of in a hurry. I used the, the highest quality Chinesium tractor supply bolts with the little Pac-Man logo on them. They're uh, tractor supply grade eight, so they're about grade two in an American bolt. I wouldn't recommend using tractor supply bolts for anything that has to hold weight or any suspension components or anything safety related because they're garbage. So as you can see, I've got my bolts up in the top. Ideally, I would have put a piece of angle iron where the actual sprocket engages the track and just bolted right through the holes here with a piece of angle iron stuffed in there. But I was in a hurry. There was already four holes here, so I only had to drill two. But it's working out pretty good. And by the way, this is my 1958 Ford 651. It's got bald ass back tires, but this is a prime example of a tractor that doesn't directly do any work to make me money as far as farming goes so I keep it tuned up and running good the engines in really good shape but 
it's ugly it needs tires i'd love to have it painted and have tires on it but it's not directly involved in production so it doesn't get the loving it's been a long day just about over i'm gonna finish up before it gets dark anybody who's got any questions or anything about bolting a rubber track up or using one for a scraper edge I think this is pretty good proof that it works proof of concept for me to one day possibly build a little bit better setup so got any questions just let me know in the comments if anybody even watches these videos those of you that do I appreciate it have a good night